in keeping with our Wellness Wednesday theme, it's time to raise the bar in our lives, and Ben Aldis tells us how we can do it. Do you think that complacency is when you start to define when you should start raising the bar if you're always comfortable with where you've been so far? Definitely. I think no one's going to achieve the ultimate optimum, you know? I think we're all going to go through peaks and troughs of, of raising the bar. Um, and I think it's important to have achievable, sustainable goals within, within our life. Um, but I think for me anyway, and I think the message that I like to spread as a, as a Peloton instructor and as a sort of um, health and wellness coach and motivational speaker is like, what is life all about if you, if you don't have grand goals and plans and you want to achieve some, some cool stuff? So um, even when you achieve big things or maybe you have huge failures, there's always new things to learn, new things to experience. Um, and I think if you can have that sort of growth mindset within your day and within your life, then you're just going to end up living a sort of more fulfilled life. So so what was the light bulb moment for you? What was the moment that you said, you know what, this is the life that I want to live on a fitness, you know, aspect from every day I feel good, my mind is strong. What was the point for you? For me, it was a bit of a transition phase. So I, I was, as a youngster, I was very much into sport and wellness and I sort of played like a high level of sport um, in lots of different fields. I then went into, um, I didn't make it as a professional sportsman, which was my ultimate goal as a youngster. Um, so I was a bit disheartened about that. I sort of, in a weird way, quit. Like, I just quit it for a little bit because it just, if I'm not going to make it professional, then I don't want to do it at all sort of thing. And I moved into um, the, the world of finance. And so I was, I'm an economics graduate, um, international business and finance um, sort of masters, and moved into the world of private equity, which is... If anyone sort of knows it, it's very intense. It's work as many hours as possible to get the job done, earn as much money as possible sort of mentality. And very quickly, I realized that it's just an unsustainable sort of life for me. And I burnt out pretty quickly. And then within that role, I also, out of nowhere, um, was diagnosed with, with skin cancer. And so I went through a bit of a reality check for myself. I went through a bit of an audit, for my health, health and wellness. Um, and so during my treatment and following my treatment, I sort of made a conscious decision to make a huge change in my life. And whether that was from, you know, trying to get a bit of a better balance in work-life balance, have better habits and, and wellness practices that are going to support my recovery, but also make sure that going forward, I'm ensuring that I'm just keeping myself as fit and healthy as possible. And at the same time, I decided that I wanted to get back into health and wellness as a hobby. And then a hobby turned into a bit of a side hustle. So I started coaching clients um, just on my weekends, just for a bit of fun. And then two careers started doing, doing this, sort of elevating and growing. And then it was just at a stage where I was looking into moving into the industry full time, but Peloton got in touch with me. And they wanted me to sort of start the UK arm of the business and help them grow UK arm of the business. And then it just felt like the right time. And then it's been six years now and it's been a hell of a journey being a part of that brand. So folks who have been thinking about Peloton, they see the commercials, they think it's fun and all. Why do you think this is something they can add to their life to raise the bar and to end as well? What is something you want everybody to do to achieve better? So I think um, there's two elements to it, right? So Peloton is a is a is a great example of if you want to have a convenient uh, sort of option for your fitness and wellness, it's fantastic for that because you can do it anytime, anywhere. There's a huge amount of choice in terms of different uh, modalities or different types of workouts you can do on there. There's a real range of different instructors you can choose from. There's like so much different music. So I think Peloton does a good job at providing such a wide range that anyone is welcome and it's a really inclusive community. I think in terms of raising the bar, what I would generally say to people is that obviously movement is one part of it, but then you have nutrition, which is a big part of, you know, supporting your overall well-being and also your mental well-being and also rest. And so within the book, I talk about these four pillars of being the four pillars of wellness. And in a way, this is what we would check in with ourselves on a regular basis. So whether it's checking in every three months or one month and having a little check-in with those pillars and saying, all right, how am I doing within these spaces? 
And if any of them are sort of not raising the bar, what practices can I bring into my, my day, my week, that can just slowly but surely build those back up? Um, and so, yeah, I think it's a mixture between obviously finding a community or a space like Peloton or something similar that suits you, suits your lifestyle um, for the movement, but also understanding that wellness is so much more than just, you know, going to the gym or physical exercise. There's a lot more variables that come into play.